Uh, okay, so I'm back with another Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxing, and this time around I actually kind of wanted to make it about uh, which one of these would be the better value, considering that these are like two of the most popular Yu-Gi-Oh! displays at the moment. So here I've actually got a display, uh, five boxes, uh, four packs per box uh, for maximum gold, and then I have another one which is going to be uh, from four ghosts from the past, which is a lot more recent. Uh, this one came out quite recently. And I kind of wanted to unbox both of these and see which one of these is really the better value or which one can you get the most out of. My opinion is that unless you get a ghost rare, it's probably not so worth it for this one. But th this one has given me a lot of good luck in the past. But either way, we're gonna go ahead and unbox both. Now let's see if I feel any differently today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So which one should I open first, Ricky? I should go ghost on the pass. You want ghosts from the past first? Yes. <laughs> you really just want to see if a ghost rare, or at least one evenly matched, pops up, right? <laughs> yep. Well, Let's go for it. It's not going to happen with my luck. I figured I would be the one to do it because I'm the one with the bad luck. Of course, Here we go. man. <laughs> Failing, you will win one day. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what I keep saying too, right? Wait, I think I had to. Man, it's like I, I had to relearn how to open these every single time. <laughs> So, as you can see, we've got five boxes in here. I've already done like a full on unboxing of uh, four of these displays in the past. I'm going to be leaving the video linked in the description in case of anything, you can see what kinds of pulls we got. Uh, but we're going to start off with the very first box over here. Now let's see what we've got. Wow, this time I'm a lot more aggressive about opening these. Maybe I just have a lot of like pent up anger from what happens. That's what I was going to say too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of, kind of unnecessary to do it that way, but let's see. Three packs. Let's begin with the ghost from the past. And this, this is going to be a total doozy for sure. Watch, I'm going to cry by the end of this. Oh, you never know. Yeah, so there we go. That is going to be one pull right there. And uh, well, that's just Galaxy Eye Cypher Blade Dragon, which I already have a lot of. Metal Foes, uh, that. <laughs> I already have Artifact, uh, that. And Dragoonity Legatus. That's actually a, not bad. Yeah, it's a nice value card. Yeah, I think it's like $8 or something like that. Mm. So that's really not so bad. Really not so bad. So we're going to move on to the next pack. So far, I don't feel like crying, which is a symptom of these <laughs> at times. Miss Valley Baby Rock. Uh, Metal Foes uh, Counter, right? Yes. So these cards are like upside down for me. This is a Heretic Trap. This is a Time Thief, that. And here we have a Starry Knight, uh, Rael. Yeah, Rael. It yeah, like Rael. Like a K in my, in my view. Yeah, look, it, it, it does kind of look like a K from there, but yeah. So now let's go ahead and open the last pack over here. So fast. The last <laughs> pack of the box. So, yeah, oh, I mean, this box only comes with like three packs. Just to use to like uh, maximum goal, you get one more. Yeah, oh, this card I haven't pulled on the past. Uh, Sunvine Shrine. Uh, again, Blade Dragon. Here we have uh, Splash Mage. Here we have this Pendulum Monster. I don't recall seeing this one before. It's Metal Foes. Silvered? Silvered? Right? Yes. I think so. I'm reading these upside down. Wow, Ooh. Arm Dragon level 10. Okay, that's that's actually kind of a cool pull. Not one that I got at all last time. So this box w wasn't really so bad. In terms of value, I actually don't really know how much uh, that card is worth or yeah. some of the other ones, but I guess we'll, we'll check that out after the fact. Okay, three more packs over here. So we are on, on box number two. Here we go. Let's start with the Dark Magician pack. And who knows, maybe we'll get something nice out of this. Ah, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sun Seed Shadow. Uh, Dragoonity Draft, not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, Heretic Dragon of Tefnuit. Uh, Time Thief, yeah. <laughs> and Evenly Matched, nice. Yay, there you go. Look at that. Lovely. We actually pulled an Evenly Matched. I, I, the second box of the second uh, Of the first pack. <laughs> second box. Of the first pack. Second box. <laughs> oh, first pack. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jump ahead. Yeah, I know. Get another even uh, match here. Oh, that would be incredible, but I highly doubt that. I don't think I'm liked 
<laughs> by whoever sells these cards. Bolton Thrasher, and we have this Metal Foes Fusion Monster again, this Metal Foes Trap. We have Ojama Country, which we've seen already, and nice, Red Supernova Dragon. That's actually, again, a pretty sweet pull right there. This box is way better than any of the other it's ones. It's way I better than all four of the all yeah. four, uh, display boxes. Yeah, like that's why I'm telling you, I'm not buying from that, that other card shop ever again. So we have a Madolce Fresh Sistar, right? Yeah. Again, I'm reading these upside down. Mass Change 2, we have Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon, we have Cosmo, uh, Tin, Tin, Tin Can? Tin Can, yeah. We have uh, Sun Valley and Thrasher. So that's pretty much everything for that box. We're gonna move on to box number three over here. And then we're, we're going to be opening up Maximum uh, Gold. And that one ha has always been an exciting one for me, but this time around, like, I'm actually getting some pretty decent pulls over here. I mean, I've already gotten an evenly matched. I've, uh, I got that Dragoonity monster as well. I, I'm not too sure about that Arm Dragon level 10 so far, as far as its value, but there's that. And on top of it all, I also pulled, I forgot <laughs> what else I was, gonna, I was gonna add on top of that, but it's fine. Okay, so here we go. All right, box number three. Well, let's start with the Dark Magician pack. Oh, I got two Dark Magician packs here. So we have Time Thief Hack, Heretic uh, Sun Dragon of Heliopolis, uh, Heretic Seal of Banishment, Arc Brave Dragon, and nice Vampire Vo <laughs> Vo um, Vo Vo Voivode, I guess. So I've actually been wanting this card for its artwork. I think its yeah, artwork it's is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I have no idea what it's for though. <laughs> but that goes in my binder no matter what. And it is a zombie, so who knows? Maybe he'll be a good addition to my zombie deck. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps. Next pack, second pack of the third box, Metal Foes Fusion. Oh, not bad. Uh, Phantom Knight Fog Blade. So we've got that, Gigantess, uh, Gear Town, and here we have Sun Valley and well, the rank four of the Sun, of the Sun Valley and monsters. So let's go ahead and take another look over here. And this is the last pack of this box, but we got two more boxes to come. Mind Mole, Emergency Teleport, uh, Time Thief, uh, Chronographer, I think. Oh, geez. <laughs> it sucks not being able to read it from here. Uh, Sunseed Genius Loki, Loki, and uh, Dragoonity Arm Gram. Not bad. Hey. Yeah, I think that's like a six or seven dollar card. Hey. And we're gonna move on to box number four of this display. I'm actually not that upset with the bulls. Like surprise, surprisingly. Yeah, got an evenly match. It's good. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> honestly. And if I somehow end up getting another one, I mean that would be even nicer. Very unlikely to happen. Now let's see. All right, box number four. Let's begin with the Firewall Dragon booster. Uh, Sunvine Gardener. We've got Lavalvo Dragon. Oh, <laughs> spoil the ending. It's not a ghost rare. How would you know? I just saw, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but we did still pull a great card here. <laughs> a card that you absolutely hate going against. Uh... So, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Let's go. So that's already actually a pretty good value card. Uh, yeah, this this card right here. <laughs> we got Artifact, uh, Evil Thorn, uh, Resonator Call, and nice, nice. I don't really know how much this card is worth, but I didn't get to pull it last time. <laughs> yeah. Our friend did though, on stream, yes. I remember. So this is nice, this is, uh, I'm going to have to flip this over. Heretic Sky Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. So this is a different card. So the final pack of box number four. So far, it has actually been a pretty decent value. I can't complain too much. Okay. Salaman Great Foul, uh, Terror of Trishula. We have Metal Foes, uh, Vol Flame, uh, Recover, and we've got X Ooh, yeah. Dragon, nice. Galaxy Eye Cypher X Dragon. Yeah, this is a much better display than the last one I got. Maybe the next time I buy four, I should buy from there. 
<laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thank God. Ah, this box. Yeah, all of these are like individually wrapped. But yeah, like this has, has been a much better experience than last time. It could be even better, surprisingly so. So let's okay. see if we actually end up with anything. See if we get a second even rematch. Ha! You make me laugh. You make me laugh. You think Goes I'm rare. lucky. <laughs> Goes rare. Ha, even harder. Don't jinx it, because it won't happen if you do it. It won't happen, man. But it won't. It really won't. Yeah, as long as there's a pack unopened, there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Let's start with the, the BLS pack for the final box of this goes from the past display. Put this is the side, of course. And uh, Molten, I cannot read the rest of it. Fairy Tale, uh, Rakshka, uh, Sunvine Healer, Time Thief, uh, Startup and Starry Night Flamel. That was the first pack. So far, not a very eventful pack. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see, Sunseed Twin, uh, Sun Avalon Bloom, Heretic Seal of Reflection. Oh, <laughs> spoilers. It's not a ghost rare, no. Uh, Orchestrator uh, Return. There we go. And uh, Resonator Engine. Last <laughs> pack. That was anticlimactic there. <laughs> you revealed it. I know. I, I, I feel bad now. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Last one. Uh, Heretic Seal of Convocation, right? Uh, yes, Convocation. Okay. Madolce. Yeah, Madolce. Uh, Cosmo Joe. Metal Foes, uh, Steelin, and <laughs> you would have thought. Shooting Star Dragon, uh, TGFX. Yeah, so no Ghost first here, as expected, but now I'm going to move all of this stuff out of the way, and we're, we're going to move on to Maximum Gold, because for Maximum Gold, this is, this one has never, disappointed me if i'm completely honest so i'm looking forward to seeing what's in there unless i ended up like getting a bad batch like you did last time mm -hmm. that would man that would absolutely suck but let's see so both of these cost about the same uh this one was 150 and uh ghost from the past was 140 but so far i don't regret getting ghost from the past like i thought i would and Jesus Christ, it's like ugh, having to prepare these every single time. Let's go ahead and start off with, with the first box here. So let's go ahead and open this up. So four packs, just as promised, and two slots. Oh, geez, <laughs> I need to be more careful with these. But that kind of involves like digging into the box to really get these out. Four packs over here, let's see what we got. Hoping for more Ash Blossoms, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be amazing? Would it, it would be very amazing. Yeah. Dark Lord Ixchol, uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, Borlord, no, Boral Sword Dragon. Uh, so that's going to be one of our, our gold rares. And we have uh, Speedroid, don't know the other part of that. Uh, the Synchro, <laughs> whose name I've forgotten. Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, Blue Im Impala. Impala. There you go, and then there's this card. The 5,000 attack, Jesus Christ. Stronger than Obelisk. <laughs> it is stronger than Obelisk. <laughs> Egyptian God cards, you don't need that. We have this. So, let's see. Okay, uh, Buster Blader, so the new one. Uh, the first Monarch. We got that Monster Reborn. Uh, Synchron Carrier. Uh, Shared Ride. This card, which we agreed, it's not really worth anything. A Stardust uh, Charge Warrior. <laughs> and this card. <laughs> it's, a me it's a Mecha Phantom card. So, pack number four. This is, this is hopefully... Number three. Number three, yes. This is hopefully where we start to see good things. Uh, the Fusion Buster Blader Monster. Uh, Madil Chain Knight. Uh, Condemned Witch. Infinite Impermanence, yes! That is a fantastic pull. And then there's this uh, host dragon maid. <laughs> but this is great. This is like a $20 card. 
nice. Yeah, so that's already making up the, the almost the cost of just one box. But let's see what's in here. Because like some shops sell these for 25, some sell them for 30, the one we want to sells it for 30. Mm -hmm. uh, Noble Knights, that. Um, Necro Valley Throne, Boral Sword again. Uh, Dark Lord Morningstar, of course, Cosmo Town. Uh, panel, uh, no, Planet, okay, I can't read that. Finder. Okay, Planet Finder and Tuning. <laughs> okay, box number two. It's not the most eventful box, but infinite improvements. I mean, come on. That is that is still a very good pull from yeah. just one box. And uh, Boral Sword is never about a card too. But it'd be nice if I got that blue eyes or more hash blossoms, you know, Damn, that'd be great. I haven't seen that blue eyes. Oh, you haven't seen that blue eyes? No. Oh, well, it does actually look pretty good in gold rare. So, you know, if we if I do end up pulling it, that'd be great. Or that dark magician, you know, that'd also be, be great, nice. Yeah. yeah. Kind of sound like a casual saying that. It's like, yeah, I want I want my retro cards. Once more, four packs. Let's start from here. We're going through these pretty quickly, but Gear uh, Gigant X, I believe it's pronounced, uh, Coach Soldier uh, Wolf Bark. And then we have this card <laughs> Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, Appalooza. But so far, both of those pulls have been pretty good. Grapha, Dark Lord uh, of, of Dark World, I think. <laughs> or yep. Dragon Lord, I think. I think it's Dark World. Yeah, 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 Dark World. Now let's go with pack number two, a box number two. First card, Mech Knight of the Morning Star. Oh, what's the spoiler? Uh, Dark Lord Ixchal, and we got Ghost Ogre, nice, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, Foolish Burial, U number thir 39, Utopia Beyond. Nice, Nibiru, that's good, it's very good and uh set rotation ill i just hate that term in general set rotation <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> because uh like magic the gathering and pokemon run on those so like instead of instead of a ban list they have set rotation ah, which I is gotcha. where you can't use cards from certain sets anymore gotcha. yeah that's why a lot of their cards might seem cheap at times but that's because they're unusable lost world oh union hanger uh, chalice. Forbidden Chalice, yeah, but that's not, like, good. <laughs> Our Beast Pet, uh, Phantasmal Dragon. Ah, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, nice. Uh, Imperial Tomb of Necro Valley and Tor Bus uh, of the Forbidden Realms. There we go. I can't believe I read that. <laughs> I'm getting better reading upside I down, I guess. Down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How on earth? Okay. So final pack of box number two, uh, Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Oh, no, trade in. Nurse Dragon Maid. Yeah, the Dragon Maid cards here are just not good. The Dark Magician, oh, nice. There, there you go, the Gold Rare Dark Magician. You did it, guys. I did it. Now we just need a blue eye so I can complete that collection. <laughs> I pulled like eight. Uh, Red Eyes Black Dragons already by now, so it'd be nice to see some kind of change of pace. So this is going to be box number three. Yeah, like when when I saw that, uh, like like the teaser, like when I accidentally swiped that card, I was like, oh man, like it's gotta be some kind of piece of crap, but <laughs> look at that. Look at that. It's not a piece of crap. It's not, not at all. None of these gold rare cards are pieces of crap, okay? That's what I'm saying. Except for some of them. <laughs> None of them except for some. <laughs> That's an oxymoron right there. Now, let's go. So this is box number three, pack number one. Let's see. Nightbeam. White. White Prince. White Prince, I knew that. Solemn Judgment Solemn. comes in Gold Rare? I didn't well, know that. Now we do. Now we do. Now we do know. Whoa. Silent Angler. Uh, Silent Angler. <laughs> Never seen that red oh. eyes. <laughs> so pretty good. They gave a whole, the triple, the trio. That would be incredible. 
That would be absolutely incredible. Now let's go. Flame, Buffalo, uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Coyote, uh, the Domain of the True Monarch, this stupid card, <laughs> Anti-Magic Swords, Polymerization. Okay, this is a bad pack. Did you just call it? Huh? Did you call it Sword? I said anti-magic arrows. <laughs> you were about to do it again. I didn't hear it. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Next pack. Yeah, that wasn't a good pack. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Lost World. Harpy's Feather Duster. That's great. Unexpected Day. Die. <laughs> Die. Yeah, D-A-I. Okay. Layer of Darkness. Reinforcement of the Army. Rota. It's like a dollar, <laughs> so don't worry about it. Uh, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars and Damn. Dimensional Prison. Dimensional Prison, I remember that used to be a thing. Yeah, look, it used to be a staple card. <laughs> it's a trap Na card. Now it's a grappler card, get it? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that on the video. <laughs> Here we go, again with Coyote. Union uh, Scramble, uh, Miracle. Contact. Contact. I was so close to reading it. Cyber Dragon Core, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood, Ghost Bell, and Haunted Mansion. Yes, and the good artwork for that matter. So nice. Great pack. Okay, box number four. So far, so good. No Ash Blossoms yet, though. I want to pull at least one Ash Blossom. That'd be nice. I remember the last time I did get a case like this, I pulled three Ash Blossoms. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. And I think two of them were actually from the same box, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, yeah. <laughs> That's, that is pretty ridiculous. So hey, the chances of that happening. Okay, put this over here. Now let's go ahead and open this one up. First pack of box number four. So we still have one more box to go after this one. And let's see, Trayden. Magical Meltdown. Tour guide from the underworld. Hey. Sadly, she's been strongly devalued by now. Uh, Barrier Statue of the Drought. Uh, Madolce Ch Chateau. There you go. Rota. Yeah, Rota again. Bleh. And then Tour Bus. Okay, not a good pack. Right off the bat. But. Still, like I do say that, but it's not like I'm not having fun <laughs> doing this. I'm just being difficult. Lost World, Magical Meltdown, Solemn Judgment again. Wow, I, like uh, up until this day, I I didn't even know that the skirt came as a gold rare. Temple of the Six, Ghost Bell, sweet with the good artwork. Dimensional Prison, uh, and uh, Trap Tricks, Mer Mermelio. Mermelio, yeah. Okay, oh, <laughs> I almost reached for the other box. Getting way ahead of myself here. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see. Uh, scrap Recycler. I already did it. Go, 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 Gigas. Artifact Lancia. That's our first gold through here. Uh, lost one turn. Super Polymerization, which is nice. Foolish Burial Goods and Imperial tomb of necro valley so there we go now for the last pack of the fourth box we still have one more box to go right after this and then we can pretty much determine which one's at the better value and so far i still think that the gold box is the better value over here mech knights forbidden chalice over here and harpy's pet uh, Elblitch, the Golden Lord, pretty good. Pretty good. And Foolish Burial Goods. Okay, so final box. Let's see what we get from here. Will it be the last pack of the last box when I get that Ash Blossom? <laughs> I just kind of want it so that I can trade it with you. <laughs> to be completely frank. Trade with you with what? Uh, for that Sky Striker card. Right, there you yeah, you know, it's, it's you the only thing I want from your binder. I think you want to take that away from me. My proudest moment. I, I'm giving you something in return. It's something very special. It's my proudest moment. <laughs> proudest moment. <laughs> Graduated college with a bachelor's proudest moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't like pull cards, you know, that usually are hit, hit around the $20 value. So. Uh oh, does that look like your pro tip? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'll take it from you. Coyote, Nightbeam, Starlight uh, Junction, Tour Guide yeah. from Neon the World, Nibiru, that's pretty good. The Prime Monarch and Link Rebo. Next pack. So you have the chance of pulling cards like that. Cards that still retain their value. We'll see uh, White Prince. <laughs> don't, don't jinx it. There can only be one. <gasps> yes! The Blue Eyes White oh. Dragon is here. I have completed my collection. <laughs> there you go. The Trinity yes. was in this box. Yes, there it is. The <clears throat> Trinity was in this box, indeed. Oh my goodness. They will be sleep later. They will, they will, just not yet. I kind of ignored the rest of them because I was very happy with that fall. <laughs> but I'd be happier with an Ash Blossom. You know, like just one would, would be nice. Magical Meltdown. We have Cyber Dragon Infinity. And let's see. Ah, red oh. eyes. <laughs> Too many red eyes. I always pull a red eyes. <laughs> Every time I buy one of these, there's always a red eyes waiting for me. Now let's see. Uh, mistaken accusation. Uh, go 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 gigas. Starlight junction. Anti magic arrows and polymerization. Ah, oh, that was a trash pack. But either way, pretty cool. <laughs> so. With that said, I would certainly consider maximum gold to be the better value here because the chances of you actually getting cards that would be useful or worth anything are pretty high. Uh, I did not get a Nash Blossom, surprisingly, actually, from this set, but I did get Blue Eyes Red Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon a couple of times. Uh, I got a couple of Nibiru's over here, a couple of Ghost Bells, uh, Infinite Impermanence, and things like that. These are cards that are definitely worth it. So, yeah, and when it came to Ghosts from the Past, I would say that we got good pulls as well, but maybe not enough to justify the price tag, I would say. So, yeah, but either way, I'm not upset with either pull necessarily this time around. I think that they were both pretty good. But if I were to pick from a value proposition, like if you wanted to fill up your binder, you want maximum gold, probably. And with that said, thank you so much for watching, and... Obviously, you will be seeing a lot more of these moving forward. So until next time, enjoy.